What's going on guys, Albert here. So as you may have heard, Facebook recently changed its name to Meta. And in this video, we're gonna talk about the Metaverse, why did Facebook change their name, what does, that, what does Meta even mean, and why this may change the future of the internet as we know it. In a recent video that Mark Zuckerberg launched, he explained that the Metaverse is the next step to the evolution of the internet. And he explains it in a very interesting way. He first mentions how when he began Facebook, people only had the ability to type text on their computers. And then I quote, then we all got phones with cameras and the internet became much more visual. And recently, as connections got faster, video has become the main way that we experience content. As we can see, we have been increasing how immersive we are in our interactions with other people and I think he has a good point. Now, the big idea here is that all the things that we're currently experiencing in text, photos, and video, now we're going to be immersed into them. You may ask, what does that even mean? Well, for example, when someone sends you a video, you may feel that you are looking at what is going on from a little window on your phone. Now, what he means by creating an immersive experience is that you would be able to see everything in 3D or in virtual reality and see that person so you would be able to see their expressions in 3D, their faces in detail, their body, their hands, their body language, almost like if you were in front of that person in real life. So this seems to be the next logical step for the internet, pretty much would be the successor to the mobile internet. So the metaverse will include a lot of things, but these are the top three coolest things that I believe that the metaverse will bring. First, as I mentioned before, the fact that you are able to feel the presence of people, meaning that you must feel like you are in front of that real person and be able to see all their facial and body expressions. Then it comes the avatar creation, meaning that you can have multiple versions of how you look. And for example, you will be able to create a realistic version of you or a stylized version of you to hang out with your friends, or even a fantasy version like a robot for gaming. Now, finally, here's where it becomes very interesting because the idea is that you will be able to have a wardrobe of, and wear clothes that can be designed by different creators from different apps. And you should be able to see all these items across the metaverse. In contrast to what we have right now, when you buy something on an app, you're not able to use it in other apps you are restricted to that one only environment. You will also be able to create your own world, create new things. You will also be able to have a workspace and be able to work uh, in, in the metaverse. Also, it's gonna be great for education. This will create you know, a new economy that will be empowered by creators. These creators can create objects, spaces like clothing or even worlds like, for some video, like some video games are doing. The possibilities are endless and we can see how the usefulness of cryptocurrencies and NFTs are going to merge together and be extremely useful in this new world. Now, the main reason why Facebook is changing its name to Meta, it is because they want to be known than more just Facebook. You know, Facebook is their main product and they're known as Facebook, but again, they want to be known as something broader than that. From now on, they are going to be investing billions of dollars in the development of this new ecosystem and they, and they will be providing the foundation to make it happen. So the metaverse is going to be their new focus since Mark Zuckerberg explains that they are a technology company that focuses on connecting people. And this goes perfectly aligned with their work on making this metaverse a reality. Zuckerberg also mentions that meta comes from the Greek and it means beyond which to him, it translates as that there's always something else to be built. And I believe that it is kind of cool. And it's, it's kind of a cool name since, you know, they're going to be focusing in the metaverse. And also it's very interesting that they they mentioned that their reports are gonna be in two different segments. Now, one of their family of apps such as Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, and the other for the work on future platforms which are based in the metaverse. Now, to answer the final question, how this may affect the future of the internet as we know it, well, new economies are going to be created from these new spaces, new games, even new ways of doing things that are not physically possible in the real world. 
I believe that this is going to create a lot of new millionaires since everything that is going to be in the real world can be translated in one form of another or another in the metaverse. And even things that we have not yet imagined are going to be created and are going to be possible in the metaverse. So here's their website. Uh, it says, you know, connection is evolving and so are we. Here they say the metaverse is the next evolution of social connection. Our company's vision is to help bring the metaverse to life. So we're changing our name to reflect our commitment to this future. Basically, they are focusing on a new like frontier, right? Which is the metaverse and that's why they changed their name. And here's where it gets interesting because here they explain you know, like that you're going to be able to, you know, create new social connections. The entertainment is going to be different. Gaming, exercise, work better and do more. Basically, you know, your workspace, you can have a workspace in the metaverse. Also, you know, for education, for commerce, you're going to be able to buy and sell, especially, you know, the NFTs. You're going to be able to buy and sell and create products that are going to be useful across the entire platform, which, again, that's where it gets extremely interesting. Um, and then what else they they also here they say you know they're working already you know in the virtual reality through the through oculus and augmented reality and they're also planning on launching smart classes you know to be able to when you're walking in the streets be able to see augmented reality for example you're walking uh through a for example you're walking in the street and you see a wall and you can see art, right? You're gonna be able to see art through the lenses and through augmented reality, which I find it extremely cool. Again, guys, if you got any value from this video, I would really appreciate it if you can smash that like button, subscribe to my channel. It would help me a lot with the YouTube algorithm and I'll see you in the next video.